Boston, Massachusetts is one of my favorite cities in the entire United States. They also hold the crown for one of my favorite desserts of all time, the Boston cream pie. So in typical fashion, today I'm making the trek out to downtown Boston to test out some of the bakeries and restaurants that are known to have the most delicious version of this classic baked good. We got a lot of ground to cover, but before we start, thanks to you guys, we hit our goal of 10,000 subscribers and it's not even the end of the year yet. I promised you guys a video at one of the seven wonders of the world and that video is coming very, very soon. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy me enjoying some of the best Boston has to offer. All right, so we're on the hunt for the best Boston cream pie in Boston. We got a lot of places to hit, but this first one called Flower, there's a bunch of these different spots all around the city. They're one of the most well-known spots when it comes to baked goods and of course, the Boston cream pie. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna get our, our um, something wet. What is it, our feet? We're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get our feet wet in the Boston cream pie world and we're starting it off with flour. Boston cream pie number one, flour bakery. Let's give it a shot. It's got some cobweb on it. What do we think of the cobweb, the Halloween? Yeah, it looks cute. It's a vibe. And you got hot cider. You're gonna have to let me know. Actually, I'm trying that. That is bomb. But the real taste test is the Boston cream pie. Hopefully we're starting off with good, good pie. Good pie. Cheers. Ooh, that is good. That is really good. I like that a lot. The chocolate's not too overwhelming. This is a strong start for sure. I don't know, we're gonna find out if you can get better than this. I really can't even give this a one to 10 yet because we haven't even tried any of the other spots. So we're just gonna, I mean, hey, I was gonna give it a seven. So we'll meet in the middle. We're gonna give it a six, five. We have nothing to compare it to. So we're gonna hit some other spots around the city, including the restaurant that created the Boston cream pie. And we're gonna figure out who's got the best in the city. This was how much? Hold please. It was $6.30, which I feel like that's, that's up there. I'm gonna wrap up this Boston cream pie and we're gonna hit the next spot. I don't know where it's gonna be, but we're gonna find it. Goodbye. Drink water. We are moving on to actually where the Boston cream pie began. This is the Omni Parker Hotel, and they invented the Boston cream pie for the opening of their hotel in 1958. That's a long ass time. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna give it a shot. They have a super nice, super fancy hotel in there, along with a restaurant, a bar, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna go in, we're gonna give breakfast a shot, and then we're gonna try this coveted Boston cream pie. They have a whole web page dedicated to how good this Boston cream pie is, but we're gonna go and we're gonna give it a shot. Let's do it. That's good. Ooh. I am so very excited to try this. This looks so good. Holy shit, the original Boston cream pie. I like don't even wanna like ruin it. It's like a work of art. It was only $10 and the other one was $6.60. So yeah. you're only spending $4 more. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even tried it yet. We gotta try it. Let's just do a little, we're gonna do a cross section. Yeah. Okay, fluffy, looks like a Boston cream pie. I gotta get a little bit of strawberry too, hold on. Boston cream pie. What are you doing? Oh my God, that's so rich. I like the other one better. You know what's crazy? You do too. I do too. I don't even you don't even want it? Really? It's not that good. Wow, why is that not good? The cream is not good. It's like a lot drier than what the other one was. The presentation was crazy good, and then it sucked. Oh my God, Parker House. I mean, the other place was like phenomenal, and this one was just not as good. But I do have to say the breakfast was really good, so I, I'm giving them props to that. And it was inexpensive. People should go to places and experience breakfast outside of like the norm, Bob Evans, Cracker Barrel, because you pay the same price for that crap, but don't get the Boston cream pie. I'm still pretty shocked. I would have to give this Boston, what did we give the other one? I feel like we gave it like a seven just to like, okay, well I'm going to give this a five. So I think that means we have to bump flower up. If we gave flower, what, a seven, I think? I think you gave it a little bit higher. I'm gonna give it a seven five. I'm gonna move it up on the scale a little bit. This is not great. Come here for the breakfast. Don't come here for the Boston cream pie. Shit. We got two more spots that we're gonna hit up. So let's go, let's get out of here quick. For 
for the last half of this video, we're entering speed round, right? We've got three places, Modern Pastry Shop, Mike's Pastries, and Bova, all three in a very, very close vicinity to each other. We've tried the most popular Boston cream pie, we've tried the first Boston cream pie, and now we're gonna go hit these three spots up to see if we can find a true champion of the Boston cream pie in Boston. Um, yeah, let's do it, let's go. I guess uh, they only had cupcakes. We're not doing that. We're not doing the cupcake route. Said online that they have Boston cream pie. They don't. We got f***ing played. Next spot, Mike's Pastries, which actually, I see it. It's right up there. Mike's. Big Mike's. This looks solid. I'm not going to lie. This looks a lot better than Parker House. Parker, come on. Cheapest one yet so far, $6. This one looks the best, to be honest. Oh my. I can't go anywhere without making a terrible mess. That's the best one so far. No doubt about it. Don't even almost have to take a second bite. Oh my God, it's creamy. Maybe a little bit more rich than I would typically eat. Big Mike's the winner so far. I'd have to give this like a... This is the only one that I've actually already been to. I came here last year. To be fair, I was pretty drunk and I remember it being pretty good. There was a super long line last time. I don't think there's gonna be a line. I guess I can do yours first. Oh, you want me to say something? I can say something. Okay, so we just went into Boba's. Boba's. Boba's Cafe, Pastry. Boba's Bakery. It looks like it's family run, and the gentleman that waited on us was super nice and commented on my hair, so. They called it Boston Cream Cake. I don't know if you saw that. $6. I did. $6, again, everybody's price is about the same. It's a little harder to, like, eat. I think I'm pulling a Noah. It's kind of falling apart. I like flower, then this one, then Mike's, then Parker's. Boba, boba, boba. Is it gonna go above and beyond? The chocolate's a little hard to get, all right. I like Mike's chocolate. I could pick off the whole thing of chocolate. You can't do that at Mike's. This is still good. I, I like the consistency of the cake better on this one. I think Mike's is a winner for me. Super nice, same price as Mike's, so try both. Maybe you'll like this one, maybe you'll like Mike's. I don't know, I feel like it's a it's a personal thing. But we both hated Parker's. But we both did hate Parker's. I hope Parker sees this. I hope I can get people on the Parker's hate bandwagon. This and Parker's, get out of here, get out of here. Thank you for watching this very short and hopefully informative Boston cream pie video. If you enjoyed, as much as I did. Like the video. Subscribe. And subscribe. Comment where you want me to go and try crazy foods next because I'm going all over. You thought we went hard this year? Thought we went hard this year? We're going hard next year. I'm going to Puerto Rico. I'll see you very soon.